This is the third instance in just this week that a gunman squared off with police. Each time, special units were called in. We're told it drains our community's resources. And as WOWT 6 News' Don Granice learned, the longer some of these standoffs go, the more stress is added. There's uh, one armed male inside. His name is Ken Clark. We have one deceased inside and a special female hostage inside. Things can happen in an instant and they have to be ready for it. At the same time, they're out there for hour after hour. So it gets kind of tedious and kind of boring at times. And then you'll have a spike in the events and they have to rise to the occasion in a second. There were moments of tension and moments of hope, but in all, it was 11 hours that led to a tragic end. For the responding officers, it wasn't even their first this week. Whether it's a barricaded gunman or it's attacks on police officers or even active shooter events, oftentimes it gets put out in the news. It gives other people the idea. And you always have to be wary of it. They tend to come in bunches. After years of responding to these SWAT situations, Trevor Thrasher knows copycat shootings are far too common. He says most of these happen during the cold of the winter when suicidal thoughts are on the rise, but it's the cold that can sometimes freeze the energy of the SWAT teams. Anytime that your hands are cold, your face is cold, uh, your goggles can fog up, there's numerous things that can happen to cause your equipment to fail as well as your own fingers to fail in the cold. So it's a definitely a major concern. And it's that up and down of adrenaline as things go from quiet to not so quiet that can drain their energy and alertness. So they swap out in shifts, making sure that those on the scene can perform at their very best. It's for their own safety and protection. Several times he said he was going to come out and of course he never did. It was, it was virtually up and down the entire day for 11 hours. In the end it came down to this individual uh, surrendering peacefully. Uh, he chose not to. I'm also told that there is a lot of reorganizing of those regular patrol shifts to make sure that the responders in these situations do get the rest that they need. Matt?